I don't know who told y'all marriage sucks, but they lied. Marriage doesn't suck, you suck as a person. You all, your girl is back again with another interesting video. Marriage is easy. I know for the past few weeks, few months, we've been talking about marriage is difficult, do not get married. But then I found a video, a lady was explaining that marriage is easy. You are the one that is just difficult. You are the one that do not know how to play your man. You are the one that doesn't know how to talk to your man that will make him do whatever you want to do. I got interested in the video and I know that you all will be interested as well. Let me roll the clip for you all to watch to the end. <laughs> and I'll be back to share my own opinion. But then while you're watching, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Now, I'm not going to hold you. Like, this is not the easiest thing I've ever done in my entire life. Actually, it's probably one of the hardest. With that being said, none of my experience sucks. Hold on. Let me do an intro. I've been married five years. We have two kids. So let me tell you what I wish somebody would have told me. You need to learn to talk to that man in a way that he understands. And he's not going to understand with you talking at him. Like, who wants to be talked at in the first place? Okay, babe? When you want your man to do something, like, you got to sweeten it up. And, like, I don't want to hear none of you girls, like, I shouldn't have to do that. Da, 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 da. Well, bitch, be single. How about that? Men are so simple. All you got to do is butter that man up a little bit, give him a kiss on his neck, ask him what you want him to do, and go from there. Stop treating that man like he is you. Stop trying to court this man when he doesn't need to be courted, babe. You are the one that needs to get courted, okay? So, like, let's take a step back and, like, we're, we're going to go through the layers, okay? Step one, and it's real easy and it's going to be real cheap. Get you some cute sleepwear. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Get you some cute sleepwear. Like, you can still wear the moomoos. Like, those are, we're going to save those for, like, when we're on our period, though. Like, that's it. Get you some cute loungewear. Like I said, loungewear, sleepwear, cute, sexy. Men are visual. Top of the morning, you need to stimulate his mind. Give him a little kiss on the neck. A little whisper in his ear whisper him something cute something sweet so that he's thinking about you throughout the day when he's thinking about you he's gonna be just thinking about what he can do for you so that y'all can do what y'all do in the nighttime next another super simple one show that man some gratitude tell that man thank you tell him how grateful you are that he takes care of you because we only like men that take care of us okay okay y'all can be 50 50 but that's not me that's not the life that i live or the life that i want to live i don't care if he took out the trash tell him thank you and then he gonna do it more because like he's gonna be chasing that high and that's what you want you want him to continuously be chasing a high and the high is you bitch and number three i already said get your sleepwear together but maybe put yourself together during the day put yourself together look look at this this is just a sleek back ponytail with some earrings i'm wearing a tank top and i threw on his his sweater cute keep it cute a little bit of makeup a little bit of lip gloss stop looking dusty and you won't have a lot of issues that you're already having. Hey, beautiful people. How y'all doing today? It's your girl, Maria Davis. And I'm back again with another interesting video. Do you agree with everything she say? Like, if you do everything she says, like, talk to your man calmly, you know, appreciate him when he do a little things, you know, wear sexy clothes, always look put together. You always, you know, if you do everything, does that mean that marriage is easy? <laughs> Let me know that in the comment section. Someone commented on that post and told her that, yes, now we're getting videos of people that are happily married. Now we're getting videos of people that are really married, blah, blah, blah. And she replied, so I'm going to go ahead and roll the clip for you all to watch the end. And I'll be back to share my thoughts at the end of the video. Yeah, I'm about to tell y'all the key, okay? This is the key. It is not married people versus single people. It is unhappy married people and unhappy single people that have an issue with happy single people and happy married people. You cannot build a foundation or have friends or surround yourself with people who are still suffering in the memory of their bad decisions you cannot be around those people and the reason why is because the bitterness of knowing that they have made bad decisions will start to trickle into what you have or what you may desire the first thing i did when i got married is i shut out all the people that weren't happily married if you're not happily married there's nothing that you can tell me 
because your perception is going to be skewed. It's going to be skewed a little bit. If you are around people who aren't happily single, you got to get from around them because they are basically living their life on the defense. And anytime they see a woman that's okay with being single, or she may be having a good dating experience. There are, that's why I say like, there are happily single women that are having a good dating experience. They have good dating experiences. They just haven't found the the person that they would deem as the one. You real, There has to be a line between these people. It has to be a line because those are the people that are infiltrating these spaces. It is not the happily single people and it's not the happily married people. It's the miserable singles and the miserable marrieds that's, trying to change everybody's perception of what they should be looking for. Okay? So it's not married versus single. It's just miserable people versus people who ain't miserable. Surround yourself with people who are happy and content with their life, be it married or not, single, whatever. Just be around people who are happy with the with the decisions that they have made in their life. Because the ones who aren't the, those are the ones that's causing all this chaos online. I'm telling y'all what I know. Because happy single people don't talk the way that these people are talking. Happy married people don't talk like this. They don't. Happy married people do not make noise. I feel like we've, have, we've had this conversation before earlier this year. Well, we're like people that are in a healthy relationship. They do not give advice. They just meals. You don't see them on social media. Nothing. It's just the ones that... They're just there, probably they're unhappy. They're the ones that go out there to give advice. We've had that conversation earlier this year. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that one. Okay. But then, do you agree with everything she says, especially in the first video? The first video, I do not agree at all. <laughs> you can't tell me that I'm going to do all of that. Then you're telling me marriage is easy. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Then you're not married to a man. If you're married to a man, if you like, do everything times four of what she said in the beginning. If the man is going to make your life miserable, he will make your life miserable. So I don't think that is just the key to happy marriage. I don't think that's the key to making marriage easy. You can't say because I have to put on a sexy clothes, I have to always look put together, I have to always, you know, say thank you or what other thing did she say will make the marriage easy for me. Have you been with a cheater? Have you been with a man that cheats? Or do you even know <laughs> where a man cheats? Men that go out there to cheat on their wives, they are the ones that their wives are so beautiful. You will see a man, a married man that is cheating outside, his wife is well put together. She's so beautiful. She's always looking good. She's always smelling good. She always looks so good that even other women might even want to want to be like her. She doesn't, the one that is even going out to cheat on her with can't stand beside her. But then this same man will go out there to cheat. But then I wear sexy clothes. I wear sexy pajamas. Why is it going out to cheat on me? If it's cheating on me, is the marriage easy? The marriage is not easy. And I will come out to say the marriage is not easy. So I don't I don't see that as this is what you should do to make mm -mm. I'm I personally don't agree with it because if you're married to a man, if you're really married to a man, when the man is gonna switch things up for you, you will not expect it. And sometimes <laughs> you will not even know until it happens. Yeah, it happens like that. Then for the second video that she was talking about moving in, um, stop listening to people that are unhappy in their marriage. Start listening to people that are happy in their marriage. Like try to block your ears when it comes to people that are unhappy in their marriages. I feel like people that are unhappy in their marriages, I would love them. I would love to hear them talk. I would love to hear from them because you will learn a lot from them if you're wise. If you think you're happy in your marriages, I feel like people that might be happy in their marriages, they are seeing things that they want to see in marriage. You know, you might get married to somebody because you really want to see these things in the marriage. And then you're seeing it. That makes you happy. But the thing you're seeing in your marriage, if I am in that marriage, I'm not happy. 
okay so everybody knows what makes them happy i have things that make me happy i posted a video the last time like i go to the beach makes me happy so maybe hates going to the beach it doesn't make them happy i go to the, the water touch my feet i'm happy i'm screaming i'm laughing because i love it some people might go to the beach they say they don't want to go close to the water they don't want to go close to water because they don't like it it doesn't make them happy as it makes me happy just as marriage if you are in a marriage and you are in a marriage because of a thing that makes you happy and you're seeing it in that marriage you are definitely going to be happy but if if i'm in that marriage because you are happily married with this particular partner it doesn't mean if i marry the partner i'm going to be happily married with the person so i don't see why you want to shush people off than happy in their marriages i feel like you can learn from them you can learn from their mistakes you can learn from their examples the things that they've they've done in the past that they would they wouldn't have done you can learn from them even if you think that you're happy in your, mar in your marriage or you're happily married i feel like i can learn from anybody even if you're happy in your marriage you're unhappy <laughs> you're miserable you're miserable i feel like i can learn from everybody that's why i always like to tell people put down your opinion i must hear your own thoughts because everybody you can learn from everybody if you're open-minded so i don't see a reason why by people that are happy in their marriages to shush people off that are unhappy in their marriages does that make sense <laughs> let me know your thoughts down in the comment section and, and this is just my own opinion but i would like to know your own thoughts about this video down in the comment section and thank you all so much for sticking around to this point i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and share and subscribe and kindly turn on the post notification bell so you can get notified once i upload another interest in a video like this one and of course you all i'll see you all in my next video bye